Welcome back. Now, musicians ranging from amateur to professionals all make up the Santa Cruz Summer Winds. That's right. April Brennan, Taylor Mitchell, and Aaron Hepler are here to talk about their last concert of the season coming up. And in a moment, trumpet soloist Glenn Gross will actually be performing for us. I want to welcome you all to the show this morning. Thank, Thank you for having us. So, much. so April, let's start with you. Tell us, what is the Santa Cruz Summer Winds? The Santa Cruz Summer Winds is a volunteer music ensemble that performs out of the Green Valley Community Performance and Arts Center. And we are a strictly volunteer group, and we were formed about three years ago. Yay! Well, and I did say at the beginning, it's a little mixture of amateurs, professionals. So yes. how did the group even come together? Honestly, I am a member of the Green Valley Concert Band, and I was interested in still continuing to perform in the summer. And, of course, my instructors at the U of A insisted. So <laughs> I started passing around a little pamphlet at the rehearsal asking folks if they wanted to join. I thought maybe we'd get together, maybe five to eight people, have an octet, quintet. Before I knew it, the page was full and I had 40 members. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I've been to that Performing Arts Center in Green Valley. It's mm -hmm. absolutely beautiful yes, space, so you yes. can't ask for better than that. Right. <laughs> I'm wondering, do the Santa Cruz Summer Winds, do they operate with any other groups? We actually work in conjunction with many of the community performance groups in town, um, community bands, but we also, too, have our own two subsidiary groups. Uh, one of them is the Santa Cruz Jazz Collective of Southern Arizona, which is headed by my my husband Zachary Brennan and we also just launched a new group the Santa Cruz Woodwind Quintet which premiered in May of this year. Very oh, wow. nice. And do you each of course we're going to hear the trumpet here in a moment but what instrument do each one of you play? I play bassoon. Bassoon? Mm -hmm. I'm a saxophonist. I play the euphonium and all the big low brass instruments that everyone else is scared to pick up. <laughs> <laughs> you take them on. Yeah, I yeah. love that. <laughs> so where else have you guys performed in any other groups or anything like that? I have uh, performed in several different groups in town. Um, I perform currently with the, like the Green Valley Concert Band. I also perform at the Arizona Symphonic Winds, and I'm a part-time member with the Tucson Repertory Orchestra. But I'm a former student of Cal State Fullerton University of Arizona, but I performed in other orchestras within California. You so. sound very busy. <laughs> <laughs> and I actually cut my schedule, if you can believe it. That's yeah. amazing. Erin, what about you? Um, I've been playing music for a long time. In Arizona, I am uh, a member of the Sonora Winds. I am a member of the Tucson Concert Band. I was the director for the Southern Arizona Flute Orchestra. And then I'm a performer, performer and director for April's group, our Santa Cruz Summer Winds. Oh, that's awesome. Taylor, okay. how about you? I'm originally from Albuquerque, New Mexico, actually. Mm -hmm. I moved here to study for my master's degree in wind conducting at the university. So I've gotten to perform with the multitude of the performing groups there. I was the graduate teaching assistant for the Pride of Arizona marching band. Oh. And I just got hired at the Tucson Country Day School as their new music teacher. So oh, life is well, rolling yeah. right along. Congratulations. <laughs> yes. Thank and you. then, Glenn, we can't leave you out. Oh, yes. Well, usually I play with the Tucson Pops Orchestra under the baton of Laszlo Verish. Oh, wow. And I work usually every Saturday at Vero Amore, which is a pizza place on Swine. We play what? jazz from 6.30 to 9.30. And tonight I'll be at Maynard's at the train station playing more jazz. Very cool. Oh, and uh, before we, we hear your performance, I don't want to uh, miss it, the fact that you guys are kind of have some exciting news. You guys have filed uh, the correct paperwork to become a nonprofit. Yes. And we, are we looking for sponsorships? What are we looking for? Absolutely. We are always looking for sponsorships. We're looking also, too, for extra musicians, especially percussionists. But for the nonprofit por uh, portion, we are going to be looking for sponsors. The paperwork is in a pending status with the Corporations Commission. But uh, we will most definitely be looking for that. And anybody who wants to help us out, we are one of the only remaining summer uh, groups that plays after July. So it's really nice to have um, some nice hands-on. So yes. Yeah. <laughs> and I know I'm going to be giving the information for your last performance for this season. Yes. But we will have another season coming up next summer, I guess? Absolutely. Absolutely. We're going to have a very full concert season. Uh, I know the center is going to be uh, closed for a few weeks for renovations, so they're going to take advantage and make the center lovely, more fitting for even more audience uh, participation. Oh, how exciting. There's yeah. so many exciting things happening with this with this group. Thank you guys so much for joining us, and then I can't wait to hear what you have uh, set for us in a moment. You can attend the final concert, though, Summer Fun Adventure and Excitement on August 8th at 3 p.m. in the Community Performance and Arts Center in Green Valley. For more details, you can call 822-7848 or log on to scswinds.net. And now here is a performance by Glenn Gross. <laughs> <laughs> 